in this video we're going to look at creating a simple 2D drawing or simple 2D part. Now before we get started just kind of look at the overall interface that we're using. You'll see the commands that we're going to use now are going to be located in the drop down menus. All the drop down menus have pictures next to them. All the pictures next to them represent the button that you can use in lieu of using the drop down menu. You can also set up keyboard shortcuts to use them as well, which we'll cover in a later video. So you can either use the commands, a button, or a keyboard shortcut to access all the commands. Now, for drawing, you can see the menus, there they are set up logically. You have all your 2D items, which are going to be points, lines, arcs, and other, which will give you your 2D shapes. So that's all new 2D geometry on the screen. Then we have the utilities menu over here, which is used for mirroring, rotating, translating, trimming, and breaking. Pretty much just changing things that are already on the screen are set under utilities. And 2D drawing is handled with points, lines, arcs, and other, and sometimes splines. Let's go ahead and start to draw a simple part. Now, for this, we're just going to create a circular part that has some notches and a pocket and some drilled holes. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and draw out a circle. So we'll come up here to arcs and then coordinates. Now, we will use this part in later videos. So what you want to do is create this part if you're going to follow along on your computer and then save the file somewhere so you have it for later use. Now all of the commands will come up on the left hand side in the data cam tree manager under data. I'm just going to move the mouse over here and slide this bar down on our layer manager just to make a little more room so that we could see the entire dialog box. Now in here it's going to ask you for what's needed for the command. And the software always gives you a little running help text down here that tells you what to do next after you've clicked a command. So it's a good idea to check down there if you're not sure what to do next. In this case we're going to draw that circle at zero. So our center in X is at zero, center of Y is at zero, and the center of Z is at zero. Drawing it at the center. Then we'll enter a radius for the part. Let's say three inches. We'll start the radius at the angle of zero, which would be over here on the right, and continue all the way around 360 degrees, which will give us a full circle. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we have a circle placed on the screen. Now let's say that we have a pocket inside of the circle. I'll use a rectangle to do this. We'll come to Other, then Rectangle. And let's say that this pocket is going to be three and a half inches in X by three and a half inches in Y. We'll change the corner type to a radius corner. We'll say that this has half inch radius corners. Now we come to its origin and or location. We're going to enter its location so we choose enter instead of pick and we enter the location that we want it at based off the center or any other choice. We'll place the center at X, Y, and Z0, and click OK. This gives us our pocket in the center now. We'll go ahead and cancel. Next, I want to place the notches that we're going to, to use in this part. Let's say we want to create some notches on each side or each quadrant of this circle. To do this, I'll use a rectangle again. So we'll go to Other, then Rectangle. Let's say that the size of these rectangles are going to be one inch by one inch. We'll say that they have sharp corners. And instead of entering their location, let's go ahead and use pick. So we'll select pick. This allows us to choose a point or location on the screen. When picking on the screen, you can use what are called snap points to snap the shapes to the drawing. The snap points can be displayed by holding the shift key and then clicking on an object in the screen. 
and now we can see the points that we can use for selecting. Let's go ahead and choose this one on the right. And what we'll do is we'll come back and trim this shape out. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll go to Utilities, since we want to change something that's already on the screen. Go to Trim. In this case, let's just use Quick Trim. We'll go ahead and click on the items that we want to trim away from the part. Now, this last object does not overlap anything. Quick Trim will allow you to click on a line to delete it as well. We'll go ahead and choose Cancel since we're done. Now I have one notch on the side. Let's go ahead and place the other notches. Come to Other, Rectangle. You'll see it remembers our settings. Now you don't always have to display the snap points. If you hover over the item and then click on it, the shapes will adhere to the nearest snap location. So all that we have to do is come pretty close while hovering over, and they'll snap to those locations. I'm going to use the middle mouse wheel to zoom out a little. And we'll go ahead and come back to Trim. Go to Utilities, Trim, Quick Trim. Now we'll just go ahead and trim these lines away. Okay, now let's go ahead and enter a hole pattern. So we'll say we have some drill holes at the corners of this square or this pocket. Let's go ahead and go to Other, Hole Pattern. In this case, I'm going to lay out a, a grid or a rectangular pattern. Let's say we want to go a little bit bigger than the square was, so we'll go 4 inches by 4 inches. And we'll say that we're going to use one eighth of an inch diameter holes. Now, the option of break allows us to either leave the hole pattern grouped together as one object or break it into individual circles. Either way that we do this will be fine. We'll leave break turned off. Now, our number of holes, let's say that we only want four holes placed two across the x axis and two up and down in y. Now we come to our origin. We could either pick its location or enter its location. Since we started this drawing around zero, we can enter the center location for this hole pattern at x, y, and z zero. So there are our holes. We'll go ahead and click cancel. So there's our first drawing or simple drawing in Bobcat. Now let's say we want to check our measurements. We could come through and go to our dimensions menu and use the different dimensions to place dimensions. Let's say that we want to dimension horizontal and then we'll set our text height in here. Let's say quarter of an inch. Now we could come in here and just pick different snap locations for placing horizontal dimensions. Three and a half inches, let's turn off the tolerancing. Click OK and we'll update the dimension. Then we click on the screen again to place it. Grip from here to here and place a dimension. And let's say we want to get a radius dimension as well. Now, there are different settings for setting up layers and colors so that the drawing looks a little bit more clean, but this should give you the idea of how to get started and give you a 2D drawing to start with for, for using for the first machining lesson.